Let's delve into a common presentation in a ferret, and that is a very low blood sugar. One of the most common causes of a low blood sugar in a ferret is a scary kind of condition called an insulinoma. An insulinoma is due to a growth on the pancreas that is a cancerous growth. And this can also happen in humans and dogs and other animals, but in ferrets, it's very common. We typically see this happen in male or female ferrets around age four. And the typical lifespan for a ferret on average is seven years old, but we certainly see them live into their early teenage years. Now, to understand more about this condition, we can discuss the normal function of the pancreas. There is an exocrine function in which the pancreas releases digestive enzymes to help with processing our food and an endocrine function with control and regulation of our blood sugar. The pancreas releases the, um, the hormones insulin or glucagon, depending on if we want to increase or decrease our blood sugar. This type of tumor, this insulinoma, is a beta cell tumor. And so it is the um, endocrine function of the pancreas that's affected. As a result, excessive levels of insulin circulate through the body. High insulin results in low blood sugar. So to look into what clinical signs you'll see in ferrets when they have this condition, they can be kind of vague, but they include a glassy-eyed, um, out of it expression. Maybe they're not as responsive to you or as interactive in the environment. They may stumble or seem to have hind limb weakness. They may be drooling or pawing at their mouth due to nausea. And in more severe cases, they may become very weak, very lethargic and deplete, and even have seizures if their blood sugar drops low enough and stays down. This condition is so common in ferrets that if we have one come into the ER with a low blood sugar, we actually think first of insulinoma. It's that common. But other causes of low blood sugar in ferrets may include liver disease, a horrible systemic infection like sepsis, um, or things like cancer. Cancer likes to do whatever it wants. Now, I say that kind of as a separate differential because an insulinoma, while scary and honestly typically not curable, it can be treated. And ferrets can go on to have a very nice quality of life. You may not even realize that they're really affected. How do you treat this? Number one gold standard option is surgery. Now it is hard to localize these tumors. They may have um, cells in the periphery and you cannot remove the whole pancreas. As I said, not only is it controlling our blood sugar, but it also helps with digestion. It's a very important organ and you can't just take it out of the body, but you can remove a section of it. And hopefully that section has the highest burden of these tumor cells. And then afterward, the ferrets can hopefully live a longer life. Surgical removal is also the only way to definitively diagnose this condition. You can be presumptive of it, so you check serial blood sugars and they continue to be low. Um, sometimes on ultrasound, you can view the tumor on the pancreas, but the only way to be sure is to submit the tumor, submit that part of the pancreas for biopsy. Now, if surgery is not in the cards, if the ferret can't undergo it or cost it prohibitive, whatever the reason, other ways to treat this include steroids. Prednisone can be used to decrease the effects of the tumor and help dampen the elevations in the insulin levels. Sometimes a second agent has to come on if insulin is not um, controlling things or if it's been a while and it's becoming resistant. So diazoxide can be added as well. And diet change. So changing to a higher protein diet can be really helpful that's slowing down the digestive process and decreasing that spike in insulin level that can happen after a meal. So long story short, if you get a ferret, or at least if you have several ferrets, you're bound to at some point run into insulinoma or at least hear about it. So think about if your ferret is having those scary clinical signs at home, so the weakness, the lethargy, acting off, certainly if they're stumbling, and get them checked out by a veterinarian. If you're ever unsure if something strange is going on, don't hop on Google, go to the vet.